Okay everyone assalamu alaikum hope you are doing great so this is an important concept of balance of payment that is primary and secondary incomes and this is not only important concept but really confusing concept as well so i thought i should make a video to make the concept clear and uh, it will really help you out and still if you feel any kind of difficulty in understanding anything then you may write in the comment box i'll get back to you as early as possible uh, so starting with primary incomes primary incomes uh, like all types of incomes that are generated from factors of production and keep in mind it includes the wages that are the reward for like labor if you sell labor then you receive any kind of income that is called primary income uh similarly profit if you like invest money in some other country uh, you construct a factory there and you earn profit from there and you send it back to your origin country then it will be again primary income for your country and interest on loans for example if uh, one country gives loan to another country and receives interest on that that is also the part of primary income and similarly if you have any kind of property abroad and you receive rent from that property that office that that factory that is also the part of primary income so primary incomes are the incomes from factors of production one more primary income include like dividend and dividend is the profit that you receive by investing in shares of some foreign company so these are the primary incomes right so wages profit interest rent and dividend now coming to the secondary income secondary incomes are the kind of incomes that are earned without or received without corresponding exchange of goods and services such as remittances donations donations gifts and any kind of aid right so these are the payments or incomes that are received without corresponding exchange of goods and services for example if usa gives aid to some african country then it will be secondary income for an african country similarly gifts are also the part of secondary income and gifts may be at individual level may be at government level for example uh, if the government of saudi arabia gives some like gifts to dignitaries in pakistan then it will be kind of secondary income for pakistan similarly at individual level it all it also happens if someone um if your friend if your family member is working abroad and he lives abroad and he sends you kind of gifts then it will also be the part of secondary income for you and donations are also the part of secondary income for example like in case of flood in pakistan many donations were sent by different countries to pakistan that is also secondary income for pakistan okay so now moving to the remittances part this is really important and confusing part of this secondary income primary and secondary income uh, remittances are the amounts of money that are sent by a resident of a country working abroad and he earns income there and sends back some part of the income to the family and friends living in the origin country for example if a resident of pakistan moves to the usa and works there does a job there and earns income salary income from there and sends some amount of money to the family and friends living in pakistan then it will be uh, it will be a remittances secondary income for pakistan in the form of remittances so this this is a kind of secondary income and remittances are always the part of secondary income keep in mind and the thing that generally con confuses the students is remittances and wages wages are sometimes also known as compensation of employees compensation of employees okay so this is an alternative word that are used for wages wages are the part of primary income that are earned by the resident of a country 
and this is a, also a foreign source of income however this is income is earned within the country for example uh, for example if a multinational company let's suppose xyz is a multinational company that comes to pakistan and this is a us based company for example we are assuming that the this this is an this is a fictitious company and this company is based at the usa and this company uh, is a multinational company and it also opens up a factory in pakistan in pakistan and mr a mr a is the resident of pakistan who joins this company right who joins this company and head office of this company is located at the usa and all payments are dispersed from the usa to all the employees working all over all over the world that are employees of xyz company all the payments are dispersed from the usa so this xyz when it will pay wages to mr a who is a resident of pakistan and he is working in xyz that is a subsidiary of xyz working in pakistan then all the wages and salaries received by mr a will be recorded as a primary income and will be the part of wages and will be recorded in this part so i believe this concept is clear to you if the, there is any ambiguity you may comment i'll get back to you as early as possible however i i'll also provide you my whatsapp number you can text me there as well thank you so much allah hafiz